Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. With this sword, we can defeat the Horned One and put a stop to Dorian's wicked plans once and for all. Aye. Aye, it is a fine piece of work, and no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you look almost tough, Evan. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tommy. I have informed the other rulers of the sword's completion. They'll be assembling their troops as we speak. It's time for the final showdown. Really? Because there's a lot of places in the map we haven't had any place to go to, so... There's still some going on. Mm. Just a little longer, though. Just a little more, and you will be returned to me at last. Yeah, everyone's here. Mr. Pug always lo looks just pugnacious. He always just looks so shocked. It's like, what's going on? I would like... Oh, uh, right, that's not Roland. I would like to begin by thanking you all for coming. The battle ahead will not be an easy one. Without the support of your armies, we would have no hope of victory. Mm. How could we refuse? The thorned one... The thorned? The horned one returned. If we stand to do not stand together, we will fall apart. Exactly! Yeah! You need a brain like mine and technology like Broadleaf's if you're gonna get through this one. Any umskull can see that. Mm. We must be masters of our own fate. It was you who taught us this, King Evan. Mm. And besides, what meaning would our hard-won union have if we did not unite in the face of a grave threat? Thank you. You're right. Thank you, all of you. If we make a stand together, I'm sure we'll be able to bring back peace to this world. Our strategy is in place, and all forces are on standby. They have their orders. All you need do is say the word, Evan. Come let me know when you're ready to begin. Well, let's go save first. <clears throat> this can't be the end of the game already, really? No way. Right? We're in chapter 9. How many chapters are there, I wonder? So this is the big one. Are you ready to take the fight to the Horned One? You won't be able to play freely for a while after this point. Are you sure you want to try and take on the Horned One? Yes. All right. Let's get started, shall we? According to Zip's analysis, Dolorn is somewhere inside the Horned One. Inside? Okay. Which means we'll need to find a way in if you're going to face him. We only get one shot at this, Evan. It's showtime. We're probably going to try and get there, and it's not going to work. And we're going to have to go to the... Uh, go and, like, break his know. hold over the king's. Barbarian. Look at that fleet. That's actually a really cool setup. Time for a All rising right. speech. Let me explain how we're going to do this. Alright. I keep forgetting I have to hit the button to progress those scenes. The dimensional barrier created by the Horned One can only be eliminated if all four towers generating it are destroyed at the same time. What happens if they're not? And how Press do you know the timing this? Up even slightly, and one tower will regenerate the other. Ah, okay. So each country can take down a tower apiece? Nice. Not having to work with the other armies will speed things up. He's Indeed. not wrong, logistically? We Hydropolitans have our own methods, and we fight at our own pace. Logistically, he's not wrong trying to integrate two separate units or forces. We need to take them all down simultaneously. It'll just cause problems. Each tower is different. Each kingmaker is different. Without teams made up of specialists from each kingdom, we'll never take them out at the same time. You expect us to work together? Um, yes. That's kind of the point of the declaration of the creation of Evermore. Impossible. Says the racist rat. With foreigners, never. 
and xenophobic hydropolitans. As if the task ahead were not difficult enough already. I just can't see how this is the best use of our resources. Oh dear. Oh, come on, Evan. Time for a stirring uh, speech. Help me out here, Evan. Everyone! Listen! If the five nations cannot promise to work together, we have already lost. Yeah, not wrong. It is promises that make us strong. I may be a king now, but if it were not for my promise to Aranella, I would never have found the strength to rule. If it were not for my promise to Aranella, God, I would long never long. have found the strength to build a new kingdom after being chased from my own. The promise I made? Well, you could say that it saved me. Oh. For a time, I thought I heard her speaking to me, begging me to avenge her. That's the thing. We have not seen the Black Knight since this incident. We've been in Ding Dong Dell several times, but we have not come across the but Black Knight. I soon Knight. realized that it was my own voice. It was not something Nella would have ever wanted. What happened to the Black Knight? I let my own thoughts of revenge cloud my reasoning. I almost forgot my promise. Aww. But I have grown. I have changed. I have built a kingdom, just as I swore I would. And I have met so many wonderful people. Oh, it's a new splash people screen. who stood okay. by me. Who fought at my side. Look. Just look how wally lofty looks in this. He, there's no way he yes, can look serious in anything. I wanted to give up, unless he's in his dragon down form. And cry. <clears throat> but I didn't. Thanks to you. Thanks to all of you. And Nile over there looks really smug. He's like, hmm, yes. And now I want to fulfill my vow more than ever. To build a kingdom. No, a world. Where everyone can live happily ever after. That phrase again. Stop using that phrase. People will not take you seriously, Evan. If we promise to work with one another, we can do this. If our nations are united, we can build a wonderful future for everyone. That's why we are fighting today. Why we have to keep fighting to the last. So please, make this promise for the future of our world. Yay! Yeah. It, it took a moment. It's like, has it finished speaking yet? Looks like our boy won the troops around. Good job. This is the only way they could get lofty in that shop by sitting them on Bato's shoulder. <laughs> I think Tani's getting ideas. Oh well. So the five great armies, stirred by Evan's heartfelt words, set off to face the Horned One. And sure enough, they agreed to work together. The soldiers of each country split into four forces. One for each of the towers. I wonder how this is going to work. Do I only have to control one and just assume the other... Man. Oh my god. It's huge. And just assume the others are doing it alright, or do I not have to attack the towers at all? I thought none of us could have our soul stolen because you were a kingmaker. Wasn't that the whole point? Yeah, man. Yeah, alright, alright, I know that. I just forgot, innit? it. Mm. Uh, anyway, who are we supposed to be doing again? Anyway, Roland wrote it down for us. Everyone has their part to play, including you. Here, you better take a look. Yeah, tell us too. The deployment will consist of five tasks. Five task forces, each made up of hand-picked units, all of whom will need to work together in order to achieve our mission objectives. Each force will be led by a ruler of one of the great nations, and the operation will consist of three key stages. Destroy the towers, target made vulnerable, a direct assault on the target, enter target, and eliminate Dolan. The task force's operational aims will be as follow. Stage 1. Master Pugnacious, neutralize the red tower. Queen Nera, neutralize the blue tower. President Vector, neutralize the purple tower. King Mousinger, neutralize the green tower. Stage 2. Evan, King Evan, render the Horde 1 weak enough to enable direct infiltration. 
Stage 3. Evan and a select force will infiltrate the Horned One with Lofty's help and locate and eliminate Dolron. This won't be easy, and it will stand a chance we don't stand a chance of success if we don't all pull together and do our part. Good luck out there, everyone. We're going to need it. <clears throat> We're to advance towards the Horned One and make ready by the barrier to attack the moment it drops. For that to happen, our allies will need to put all four towers out of action at precisely the same time. A bit of walking followed by a bit of waiting, eh? I reckon I can handle that. Let's give it a try, my boy. I'll never get Rolf Lofty's voice consistent. Oh well. Bolster forces. What do I got? Alright. Uh, inspect forces. Spearmen. Magic. Hammer and hammer. Hammers are weak to swords, so I reckon my <clears throat> two swords, spear and hammer setup will do. That setup has literally just won me all the skirmishes. It really has. It, depending on who else is there, uh, you'd swap out one of your extra swordsmen for another pike or another hammer, but that that setup does it. The ranged were oh, useless. Hi. Uh, this will be our greatest challenge yet. Roar! What are those things? Spirits? Alright, I see. Hey. Hammers. Kill the pikes. All right. Oh, no, wait. It's the swordsmen who are better at the pikes. Yeah, these guys. There we are. And just attack the ranged by just swarming them. We can't afford to lose. Longfang, hi. Aren't you supposed to be on top of a tower? I sense overwhelming evil. The omens have been so bleak. Um. Mr. Pugnacious, it's so very big. Can we really defeat it? Rah! Not if you harbor even the slightest doubt. This strategy is a gamble. How the hell am I supposed to read that? I also. How big is Longfang's lungs? To keep that roar going for so long. <laughs> Go snap it. Let's go, guys. Advance! Advance! Yeah. Swordsman, kill! Nice work, guys. Who are they? Alright, let's top up everybody. There's Brian Skimmer. I like, really like Brian Skimmer's design. To create this monstrosity, this travesty of the Kingmaker is must behold. Now let us set this right, your majesty. Let us destroy it. <laughs> well said, but do not throw your lives away too hastily. We will defeat the creature, and then I don't know. We'll do whatever. Do something. We can't afford to lose! <laughs> there. There. Everyone's here. Wee. Charge! What is that? Oh, it's the spirit speaking to us. Come on, spearman, kill it! You all saw we that I had to lose. There we are. Oh, uh, they look like the corrupted forest spirit from uh, Princess Mononoke. There we are. See what I mean? Just this setup. As long as you keep maneuvering them, all right, this is fine. I say that, and then I wasn't paying attention enough, and he just destroyed everyone. Oh well, I've got tons of military might. I can constantly refresh myself. Now we've reached the top. Whoa, he's big. I think I really has never got the skills, but the barrier, it's ter horribly powerful. Yeah, but... So we everyone to work together in perfect harmony, bring down all four towers mm. at once. And they can do it, I know they can. Yeah. Is that the last of them? Hi, Bastion. Whoa, Dark Bastion's design is 
awesome. Gosh, it's a kitty cat compared to this thing. Maybe I should have uh, locked in a submission thing? That's energy source puzzle vector. The enemy has evolved. We need to out evolve it. The march of progress, save our own. Uh oh. We're gonna surround it. Kill them! I'm gonna take that. Okay, pikeman, go and poke him. I'm proud of all of us. And soldiers. Hold fast until all the far towers have been destroyed. Okay. So this is like the Evermore defenses, you just basically have to hold on. Hey, where are you guys going? Your sword and oh, your pikemen, so my hammer blows will have some words for you. There we are. Oh, I didn't get the military mic. Oakenheart. Well. A blackened oaken heart, an ominous sight indeed. Oh my! King Mountainer, can we really win this? You cannot give up yet. Of course we can. We may be different species, we may be different nations, but our goal is the same. <clears throat> Go, Hammer Bros. Okay. Yeah, that might. Hammer Rose, get in front, take care of them. And we'll move our pikemen to take out the big guys. Kill him! There we are. Move. Attack for God's sake. Yes. More of that. Heaven. Oh crap, getting surrounded. Forward. Can't afford to lose. Chingus fell. No. <laughs> no, there he is. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. How about no? Take this. I think I just swarfs through my soldiers. Get the big guy. Get the big guy. Heaven. Oh my god. We can't afford to lose. Poke him. Poke him. Heaven. I should All of us. probably just Stay run strong. away whenever he does that. To be truly honest. There's Ooh. one. The red light, it's gone. Long Fangstein. Stay strong! <laughs> <laughs> now! Forward! Hey. Freeze, punk! <clears throat> We can't stop right. Pikeman, go! Pikeman! You know what? Let's take care of the side boys first. <laughs> and Chingus is down again. Freeze, punks! All right. There we are. Chingus is down, so I can't do that. Oh, bloody hell. They're overwhelming me. We can't afford Go on. To Let's get guys back. Very quickly. Go, soldiers. We can't Freeze, stop now. So many hammer rooms. Stay strong. <laughs> there we are. Chingus right. is back. And go. There's plenty more where that came from. All right, so only one tire is down, so it's probably going to be a little bit longer before the others go down. It's likely they're going to go down one by one. <laughs> what was that? There's no easy fight, Your Majesty, but the imposter has been slain. Well, the rest is up to you. Go save the world. Thank you. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have to do it one by one. All right. The repairs should be coming down any moment. That's the end of that! I, I was expecting that to be drawn out a little longer, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I don't really like those overworld skirmishes that much. As fun as they are, they get really tedious later in the game. It's finally time to face the horn. Now.